welcome to James Cook High School Sports Prize Giving 2021. My name is Wade Brunston and I'm Director of Sports. This year we'll be bringing you prize giving via online videos that will be posted every day with different codes being announced. By the end of it, we'll announce all our major sports winners. Firstly, I'd just like to thank everyone who supported us through the 2021 seasons. That goes to all our coaches, teachers, volunteers, players, managers who helped 21 be very successful. I'd also like to thank CRLM, Nippies and City Contractors for your valuable donations throughout the year. I'd also like to thank Bridgestone and Caltex who also donated various other things for our school to be successful in 2021. 2021 has been like no other. Fortunately, we were able to finish summer sports in Term 1 and finish winter sports in Term 2. Unfortunately, in 2021, we had sports teams that were unable to attend New Zealand Secondary School's sports winter tournament week that was due to be played in Term 3. I'd like to acknowledge all the hard work of the mixed hockey team, our three rugby league teams, under 15 boys, our open girls and our open boys who were supposed to attend the New Zealand Secondary School's Rugby League Nationals and our Senior A Netball girls. Unfortunately, these teams were unable to participate at the Nationals. Hopefully next year we'll be able to qualify again and attend those Nationals in 2022. So without further ado, let's get the awards underway and congratulations to all our award winners. Have an awesome Christmas and see you next year. Kia ora, Mr Blackwell, coach of the First 13 Rugby League team. Uh, this year we had a great year. We went through uh, the season without a loss. We made the final versus De La Salle College. Unfortunately, we came up a bit short uh, by a few tries. I was uh, happy with the outcome, considering a lot of our boys haven't played underneath the bright lights before. Uh, we did well to only lose by a few points. Our most improved player this year goes to a player who hadn't played league before or had minimal experience of league. He was our second role. Uh, probably a lot of players prior probably wouldn't have thought he would have been our second role this year. Um, he did really well securing that position. Really fit, great in the tackle. That goes to Patrick Fonotti. <laughs> our sportsmanship player. This goes to our leader. Uh, moved him around quite a lot this year. He started off at halfback. Uh, he Led the team around the park very well. His management skills are really high, showcasing his strong uh, IQ within rugby league. Uh, he's our head boy, Frank Baniani. Player of the year, uh, this guy was amazing for us. Scored some long range tries, smashed some people on defence. Uh, but what was good about him was he was humble after the games, not really knowing how good he was. That goes to Timothy Tietia. <laughs> Mr. Josh Naidu here, uh, one of the coaches for the Girls Rugby League uh, Nines and First 13 team. This year our main goal was to grow interest around Rugby League, uh, grow the game and grow our player base as well and we managed to do that. We had a massive amount of players interested, a massive amount of girls um, on our roster. Um, we pretty much had to change up the team every week just to give everyone a run, which is pretty cool to see. This year we actually managed to get three wins out of seven games, uh, which is pretty impressive because only one of our players actually play club footy. So a lot of our, 90% of our girls had never played the game before. And this comes down to the coaching of Lucy, Rayshan, and um, Alma as well. So the success of the team is based around them and their coaching. They help these girls become confident to play probably one of the hardest sports in the world. Um, which was really impressive. We finished second in our pool, made the knockout, and actually caused a massive upset in our last game against Macaulay. 
So we finished fifth overall, which is really cool. Um, we retain 90% of our players going into next year, which is awesome because it's going to make us pretty dangerous going into next year. We're aiming for a top three finish or even a championship title. And we've got no doubt with our girls and our, with our coaching staff, we can do that. The awards for this year for most improved um, goes to probably one of the smallest girls in our team, but an absolute workhorse. Um, always looks for work, always makes tackles, always sticks up for girls, runs probably harder than most of our bigger, stronger girls. And that goes, most improved goes to Helen Dangauli. <laughs> Sportsmanship Award goes to Christina Pesimino. The reason for this is even when we were down in games, she would always put her hand up and she'd run with the same intensity she does in the first minute and the last minute of the game. Um, she always laid the platform for us all season long um, and just made our lives a lot easier. I mean, she would round up close to, if not over 100 metres a game. Our best forward this year and most um, um, sportsmanship award goes to Christina Pesimino. <laughs> Lastly, our MVP goes to our captain. Our captain is our only club player. She plays for the Manureo Marlins week in, week out. Um, I have no doubt that this girl is going to play NRL one day. She's much wise beyond the years. She's only 14, 15 years old. And she's still learning how to play. And she's still learning the game. And she's only going to get bigger, stronger, and better, and faster. And so our MVP for this year goes to Elena Fuzico. Kia ora, Mr. Blackwell, coach of the senior boys tag team. This year we went to a competition at uh, Bruce Forman. We won the senior B competition against the uh, strong... Hillary College team. My most improved player this year is a, a player that was the youngest in the team. Uh, he showed uh, good experience from probably playing alongside his brother a lot. Dazar Matthews. Well, sportsmanship player of the tournament goes to a player that showed a lot of leadership around the park. Uh, he's new to the school. Uh, he molded into the tag team very well, considering he didn't know many of the boys. Timothy Tiatia. And our man event of the evening, our player of the tournament. Uh, he showcased a lot of um, experience from playing a lot of uh, tournaments outside of school. Uh, he led from the back. He leads all the time. He's our head boy, Frank Baniani. Uh, kia ora, Josh Naidu here, uh, coach of the girls tag team. Um, we played a one day tournament this year at Bruce Bourne Park. We did really well, we had a great pre-season. We won five out of six games. Um, it was unfortunate because we missed out on the finals just because we dropped the game. But uh, we actually beat the team that eventually went on to win the competition. So um, the girls did really well. Um, our awards for this year, our most improved player is Sinead Tamati Talangi. Who was probably our best defensive player. She was making about two, three tags per set. So um, she was really outstanding. Our sportsmanship award goes to Faith Saltier. Uh, she was pretty much the co-coach as well. Um, she took a lot of pressure off me coaching the girls. She had a lot more knowledge than I do as a coach as well. So all the team success really goes on her shoulders rather than me. Um, so yeah, Sportsmanship Award to Faith Saltier. Our MVP was actually our youngest player. Um, just outstanding on attack and defence. And that goes to Elena Tuilupe. The girls did really well this year. We had a really young team, so going into next year, they'll all be seniors, and we're looking to do one better, get to the final one. Uh, Talufa Lava, 
everybody. Um, my name is Liz Byrne, the manager for the rugby league under 15s. First and foremost, um, I just want to thank the players for your effort throughout the season and to the all the, the sports teachers that has been involved. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to manage the kids on and off the field. Our coach, Tyrone, is not here to congratulate you guys, but um, it's all right, I'm here as your manager was yelling at you from the sideline um, to stop playing around, stop mucking around. I had to do my job. The coach has um, sent a message through to you boys. Well done. Keep going. Sports, schoolwork and home. Keep going. Yeah. Without that being saying, um, our MVP for the league team this year under 15 goes to Solomon Lasiki. Outstanding player, power and strength put together, very strong. Watch this kid in the future. Well done, Solomon. And to our most improved player, this kid has, has always been a union player. This is his second time playing league, and boy, he was our top try scorer. My little lover, John Aitsu, I know, we know that you're going to go further in life with league, so keep going, and well done. <laughs> to our sportsmanship of the year, this kid is very quiet. Very humble. Um, you don't have to tell him what to do. He's that kid that you can walk away and rely on him to sort out the rest of the boys in the team. Congratulations for making the Junior Warriors. And hopefully in the future you will fulfill that um, dream of becoming a star in whatever you do, especially league, with our sportsmanship of the year, because he has a lot of respect and loyalty for um, his brothers on and off the field goes to Charlie Ringamoto. <laughs> to all our other boys, keep going. It doesn't end here. Bring on next season and all the best. For the rest of the school that's left. And I will hopefully see you next year. Pafte lava. So far, so far.